hello guys and welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial we will talk about uh, inserting a note in uh, an excel drafting so as you can see here i have created uh, six notes so these are the six different notes that you can able to learn how to create in uh, an excel drafting so if you can able to do all the, these six types of uh, you know uh, general notes so then you can able to make uh, any kind of notes in uh, uh, Unigra in Unigraphics and X uh, with uh, our drafting workbench. So we can start with one by one. Uh, so we can see here there is a one. The first one is which is a general note, and then we have a tolerance and how to enter to different tolerances. And we also have a GDNT symbols inside the notes. So how we can enter these uh, you know control frame. And then there are uh, fractions and then custom symbols. This so this is the custom symbol. So this is an insert a relationship and uh, all these kinds uh, we will be explaining in a minute. So now what I will do is I'll just go to note here is you can see the create note um, uh, you know command. So you can just click on this and uh, we are going we are not going to go you know explain all these things. So alignment annotation views and uh, leaders and uh, jogs. Uh, these are all the things are similar to one which we already discussed in my previous tutorial. So the, these things will remain same in drafting for or even dimension creating a dimension and uh, even for views also there will be alignments and everything so we already discussed this so I will just skip this now uh, I'm not going to you know discuss on this so we'll just go on to the uh, today's topic that is on uh, notes how we can enter the notes so now as you can see here um, leaving all these things as it is we have a formatting uh, window here which is an empty window so this is a place where you need to enter um, you know uh, text whatever the notes you want so uh, what I will do is the first note as you can see here this is a simple note uh, which is not having any complications uh, which is an alphabet and numbers so we'll just enter that so this is the first note which is a general note or any text okay so this has came as soon as you enter as you can see here uh, uh, this has been appeared so now what we can do is uh, it, it, there is an, uh, another line so we can just hit enter and uh, uh, add line number two so now what I'll do is as you can see here this is our text so now as you can see here one and line number uh, line uh, the text line is in the same uh, you know um, uh, offset so we just need to give some value here so that uh, space here so that general and line text will be aligned properly so we can just give the space by looking at this text so now it is looking good so what I'll do is I'll just place it over here okay so now next we have is uh, enter a tolerance so we can just uh, type the enter tolerance sorry okay there is a small mistake okay so enter tolerance so here uh, how we can enter a tolerance is you can just uh, leave one space and you can just go to drafting here so as soon as you go to drafting you can see here many symbols are available so this is a diameter and this is a, a spherical diameter and different all different kinds of you know uh, symbols are available so if you want to insert at this particular time you know um, space you can just uh, hit this uh, insert plus or minus so, so now as you can see here uh, we got this uh, plus or minus uh, symbol here so now you can just enter your value so I'll just enter 0.5 and uh, we can just you know place this uh, text so now we can see uh, we can able to make uh, tolerance so other than that we can also have multiple options over here so for example if you want to enter any uh, tolerance any you know text under this bracket so we can just uh, hit this and then uh, we have uh, something called dimension so now we'll just close this so now as you can see here this also we can able to make so i'll just place it over here so similarly you can use all these dimension you know symbols uh, in order to insert in insert the text so this is one of the example which we can which i can give you so now what i have is here um, uh, the gdnt symbols so we'll just go to third and uh, gdnt symbol 
and now i'll just hit space and now we can go to in the category we can go to gdnt so as soon as you go to gdnt you can see here insert single frame control frame so this we can just enter it here so as soon as you enter as you can see here one block has come uh, so now what is the symbol we have here uh, we have a position tolerance so we can just give position tolerance and then we have a diameter so let's go to diameter uh, sorry guys this is not a so we can just remove everything now so insert control frame and now we have position here and then we have a diameter and uh, the value is 0 0.007 and then we have a modifier okay so this we have got everything so we just need to enter uh, one by one uh, whatever the gdnt symbol you want and then we need a separator so separate is over you are here so you can just click the separator and then we have to enter the um, next text so now we can have uh, datum a and modifier so we can just enter datum a and modifier so now as you can see here whatever there in our third note is able to we can able to do it so now we can just place it over here okay so now what we can do is uh, in the fourth note as you can see here enter fractions so let's go to fractions and this is the fourth point enter fractions okay so now we have uh, 0 0.1 by 0 0.3 so we can just go to fractions over here and we can enter the upper text and the lower text and here there are multiple different ways how we can uh, enter these fractions we'll see one by one so this is the first one two by three height and we'll just once your values are entered and make sure that the space is given here otherwise it will come uh, you know it will touch your uh, text so we can just insert it so once you insert as you can see here 0 0.1 by 0 0.3 is appearing so now what i'll do is i'll just give one space and make it the next one and i'll just insert again so now as you can see here 0 0.1 by 0 0.3 uh, in the other way so there are multiple ways you can just use all of these and you can just check how uh, uh, which one is suitable for you and you can just use that so you can see there are there are different four types of uh, uh, fractions you can able to keep and um, you can make a use of that so now we have uh, insert custom symbols so you can just go to here and we have a custom symbol here and we are uh, in every organization there will be an uh, you know library so you can just just go to the library or else you can just create one custom symbol and uh, uh, make use of that so we'll just go to here and uh, we'll just select any one of this so once you select this and we can also he see here there is a scale so usually what happens is the scale should uh, will always be one so if the scale is one and uh, now what i'll do is uh, i'll just make this as insert custom symbol and uh, leaving space and now if i insert this now so now as you can see here our text is very big so because that it is in uh, inches so we have created this uh, image in a very big format so we need to reduce the size of this uh, you know symbol so in order to do that what you can do is you, you just need to remove this and uh, make sure uh, the you know scale is reduced so let me reduce it to 0 0.1 and let us see how it looks so as you can see here 0.1 looks like this so if you want to reduce you can just uh, reduce a little bit so in order to reduce this you can just remove this again and uh, reduce the scale to 0 0.04 and insert it so now it looks good for me so what i will do is i'll just enter it uh, place it over here okay so this is the way how we can enter into a custom symbol so we have next uh, re insert a relationship so relationship is nothing but the dimension that is created in uh, inside the modeling so we can just go to five and insert relationship 
okay space and we have a relationship here and uh, you can just go through insert relationship here and we can select a number of you know dimensions over here suppose if you are given any uh, you know fillet for any modeling so you can just mention the fillet uh, uh, dimension with some uh, value f1 so we can just select go in here and select f1 and uh, insert this so now as you can see here whatever the dimension will have or fillet will have so the that will be appearing so we can just uh, place it over here and now we have uh, these underline and bold text so this is uh, you know a text formatting so we can just uh, have a insert a relationship here and go to edit text and here is a formatting so as you can see here so if you need to underline so you can just select all those things and uh, click underline here so underlined uh, you know text will come and now if you want to remove it so both side you can see this uh, symbols you can just remove it and now if you want a bold uh, text you can just change this uh, to any of the format and then select all things okay so now you can see boldness so bold text will be appearing so now as you can see here so this is the bold text so in this way you can just uh, use make or make use of all of these things and if you want to remove uh, text attributes or example italic uh, and boldness if you want to remove you can just remove it over here so this is the way how we can you know uh, make a general notes in uh, in graphics and next drafting size so if i missed any of the points so please comment in the section below so i will try to uh, include it in uh, any of the uh, drafting workbench so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys